Today, I'm going to show you how to maintain a quote unquote maintenance free battery. Yes, they do require maintenance. I maintain this battery religiously. Every six months, it gets taken out of my car, cleaned, and uh, peak charged for over 24 hours with a uh, what's called a smart battery charger. Take a damp cloth, clean the road grime off of it. You know, check for any cracks in the in the plastic. You can use a uh, a brush to clean the terminals, or you can get one of these uh, post cleaners. An indication of uh, of your pending battery failure is if your positive terminal has the white fluffy stuff on it. If your positive terminal has all kinds of uh, sulfate on it or sulfite on it, that means your battery has been sitting uncharged and all your positive plates inside will also have all that sulfate build up on it. The way to prevent sulfide build up on your battery um, inside and outside is to keep it charged. If you let your battery sit for any amount of time, you're going to start to get sulfide build up on their plates. I use a special battery charger. You can buy uh, this at Sears for about 30 bucks. It's a, a smart charger which uh, detects the peak uh, voltage then it will switch to a maintenance charge. You can also get a product called a battery tender. It's pretty much the same thing. These battery chargers don't put a constant voltage into the battery but it puts a high frequency pulse through it to um, make the sulfides reabsorb into the sulfuric acid inside the battery. But this one um, it has uh, protections. You can't shock it. You know, it will not turn on until it's connected to the battery. If you hook it up backwards, negative to positive, positive to negative, it will not turn on. So you've got that protection with this um, die-hard battery charger. But also, just like a LiPo, if your battery is too low a voltage, it will not turn on and it will not charge it. And you can get around that by uh, using a dumb battery charger that just pumps 12 volts into it, at, you know, like 2 amps or 5 amps, and or jump jumping it from another battery. It'll detect the voltage and then it'll go into a charging mode. And this charges 12 volts at 2 amps or 6 volts at 4 amps. And this battery has a few cells which are right at the, the low level indicator here. So um, I'm going to fill it up with uh, distilled water. Do not use uh, mineral water, don't use tap water, don't use the artesian water, only distilled water for your batteries. If you use regular tap water, the minerals in that will destroy your battery in a matter of weeks. Use a coin, penny, dime, works, works well to loosen up these uh, caps on the cells. So you might want to have a uh, container of distilled water standing by to uh, put your caps in because these caps can get kind of dirty and they will have some sulfuric acid on them. You might want to use uh, gloves also but uh, you know, I have calluses. And carefully clean these out with a wet cloth. Try not to knock any dirt down into the cells. Now I poured some uh, distilled water into another container. I have an old inkjet uh, ink refill syringe that I'm going to use to uh, fill up these uh, uh, cells to about middle here. There, some of them are okay, some of them are low. Some of these cells are uh, about 30 cc's low. Okay, now I have all the cells topped off and even out. Now you can uh, start putting your caps back in there. This has a little eye on it and it was glowing red so that's why I added uh, distilled water in it. Um, before this eye was uh, not even glowing because it had been sitting in my car for probably two weeks since the last time I drove my car. You'll get a layer of sulfuric acid that's charged, your electrolyte that's charged, and then you'll get your distilled water that'll actually separate if your battery is low. 
you need to actually shake it up to uh, mix the distilled water and sulfuric acid that's already in there. And this is, I do this several times throughout the charge. Usually it takes anywhere from 24 hours to 36 hours to charge the battery up. Once my battery charger turns green, I will shake the battery, mix the electrolyte up some more, then I'll uh, reconnect the leads and uh, it'll go back into charging and it'll charge for a few more hours. One way to prevent uh, a really long recharge time on batteries that aren't in use is to get a battery maintainer. Um, you can get ones that plug into a wall socket and charge your batteries at like a 50 milliamp or you can I have a um, solar powered one that I bought for this is about 20 bucks and it uh, trickle charges your battery and maintains it and uh, I have another battery pack that I have uh, for just emergencies that I hooked the smart charger up to and it sat there for about two minutes and turned green meaning the battery is already topped off so I know this kind of battery charger works and it doesn't require any uh, electricity from your uh, from the grid if your battery sits uncharged or decharges itself over time usually about one percent per day letting it run itself down will create the white fluffy stuff on your positive terminal to get that off you can use uh, you know like coca-cola or um, baking soda and water make that into a paste and put it on there and it baking soda will neutralize the sulfuric acid this battery is almost five years old and I've had no problems with it um, because I take it out every six months and uh, charge it up with a smart charger and it uh, peak charges it detects the Delta V and then shuts off and goes into trickle charge well I hope you find it helpful